First, it's a really exciting day with the Osiris Rex landing just minutes ago, family. So this is a speed from NASA right now. Recovery efforts could start as soon as today, Katie. And our Denver 7's Brandon Richard is live for us at Lockheed Martin Space in Littleton this morning, bringing us all the excitement surrounding this historic moment, Brandon. Yeah, it really is. You're right. It really is a historic moment, and it's not the aircraft that is landing. It is actually the capsule that the aircraft was carrying that landed uh, just a few minutes ago at 852 uh, mountain time. It landed in the deserts of Utah a couple of minutes earlier than they were expecting. As you can imagine, all the folks here at Lockheed Martin in Littleton, they're very excited. Many of them have been waiting for this day, for this moment really, for years now. And the team here is the team that actually flew the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft that landed on that asteroid and collected the sample. The sample, again, landing in Utah a few minutes ago. It'll now be collected and flown to the Johnson Space Center in Houston, where it will be analyzed. And earlier, we spoke with a systems engineer who explained what they're hoping to learn from this asteroid sample. Take a listen. Yeah, so the sample is going to give us a lot of information. Um, we're hoping that there are lots of chemicals, organic compounds, maybe water on board that are going to give us answers about, you know, what formed our solar system, maybe what formed Earth. Maybe it'll give us the answers to uh, what uh, brought life to Earth at some point. Um, so we're just hoping to learn more about the uh, creation of the solar system and the, uh, you know, mechanics that went into uh, forming the solar system as we know it today. So you can see it's pretty cool. Just that tiny sample uh, can give experts a lot of insight into how our solar system formed, how ultimately life began here on Earth. And as we've been showing you all morning, Coloradans have been playing an important part in this mission. Now, as for the spacecraft itself, the OSIRIS-REx, it's actually going to be on its way to another asteroid to do more exploring not scheduled to reach that asteroid until the year 2029. Back to you. Wow. Oh, I mean, that's just some great and, and interesting stuff, mm -hmm. just giving us some more perspective as to what's out there and how it all got started. Thank you so much, Brennan, for all your reporting this morning. Mm -hmm.